Sitting before media on the final day of Idaho's first ever regulated wolf hunt, Idaho Fish and Games director declared the hunt a success. I think this is a historical moment. Uh, we can take a deep breath now. Is our first regulated wolf season hunt in the lower 48 states. This is the last day. And I think the hunt went very well. Hunters took 188 wolves during the 2009-2010 season. 85% of the 220 harvest limit set by the Idaho Fish and Game Commission last summer. I have been very pleased. I think we've demonstrated very effectively that we can manage the wolf harvest. Uh, there was a lot of concern from the public going in uh, that harvest would be excessive and we wouldn't be able to regulate. I think we've convincingly demonstrated that that is not the case. Interest in the first wolf hunt was high. Idaho hunters bought nearly 31,000 wolf tags, and non-resident hunters purchased nearly 800 more. Fewer than half of 1% of hunters who bought tags actually harvested a wolf. It was a learning experience for hunters and for fish and game. We found out that in the backcountry that steep and brushy and rugged, hunters had a difficult time in the Lolo zone, the Salway, in the backcountry. Larger harvest limits were set in some of those backcountry areas, like the Lolo Elk Zone, where hunters took just half of the 27 harvest limit. Twenty-five years ago, the Lolo was Idaho's premier elk hunting zone. The herd here totaled more than 16,000 animals. Then habitat problems and a bad winter in 1996 cut that number in half. I came to the Lolo's regional supervisor in uh, 1997, just after a severe winter. In that role, the Lolo became one of Gruen's top priorities. The Lolo zone, I worked on it hard for 10 years, and during that 10 years, uh, we made severe cuts of hunters. We closed down cow elk seasons. We had a lot of habitat improvement projects, and we basically really uh, regulated bear and lion to get that into balance, those predators into balance. About five years after that bad winter, a new predator arrived in the Lolo and thrived. Then the wolf came in and the progress we made disappeared and the wolves became the primary killer of elk, Lolo elk, and we lost that balance completely and that balance is completely out of whack. The Lolo zone is comprised of our game management units 10 and 12 up here in north central Idaho. Today, there are just over 2,000 elk left in a herd that once totaled 16,000. Wolves number between 75 and 100 in these two units alone. The purple represents pack territories. In the Lolo, few elk calves are surviving. Hunting in the current framework that we have now is not going to be enough to impact the wolf population here in Unit 10 and 12. In August, the Fish and Game Commission will set new wolf season dates, harvest limits, and consider utilizing additional wolf management options that could be used in areas like the Lolo where wolf harvest limits weren't reached. Options include increased bag limits, allowing hunters to take more than one wolf, which is currently allowed for black bear and mountain lions, reduce the fee for non-resident wolf tags, use of outfitters and guides to help control wolf numbers, allow wolf hunters to use electronic predator calls, and trapping. All options are outlined in Idaho's 2008 Wolf Management Plan. We have very healthy populations, and we're just trying to manage them. Idaho's first ever regulated wolf hunt temporarily stabilized a population that had been growing at a rate of 20% a year. At the end of 2009, there were at least 850 wolves in Idaho. The commission's wolf population goal is 518. That's how many wolves there were in Idaho in 2005, before livestock depredation skyrocketed and some elk populations began to decline. We don't want to take the wildness out of wolves. They shouldn't be around towns. They shouldn't be creating livestock problems and uh, social problems. Despite the hunt's success, it's still uncertain whether another hunt will occur in the fall. More than a dozen groups opposed to the hunt continue their push in federal court to put the gray wolf back on the endangered species list. I'd be severely disappointed that if we don't have a hunting season next year. Because we played by the rules, we've worked hard, it's been a long time coming, and I think we've demonstrated that we uh, 
we did a good job of state management hunting. So what happens beyond that in technicalities, I don't know, but uh, we need the hunting season as a tool to manage wolves like we do our other big game animals. For more information about Idaho's first wolf season and wolf management plan, visit our website at fishandgame.idaho.gov.